Hi, I'm Randy Reed. It's Today in Lighting, Thursday, 31 August. We're sponsored by ETI, Solid State Lighting, where quality meets innovation. If you enjoy Today in Lighting, please do hit the like button. Here are the stories making news. Brenda Whitehead from the IALD details his visit to Benes House, an art museum and hotel in Japan. Whitehead emphasizes the architectural finesse and harmonizing natural and artificial light to accentuate site-specific artworks. We link to that article on designinglighting.com. In November 2021, Edison Report featured a letter by the College of Lead Fellows strongly advising against a windowless design for University of California Santa Barbara Munger Hall dormitory. And we're pleased to announce that the windowless design was rejected and there is a new redesign for Munger Hall. The U.S. Postal Service issued four new pre-sorted first-class mail stamps featuring striking photographs of bridges. Included is the I-74 bridge, officially known as the Iowa-Illinois Memorial Bridge, a project designed by HLB Lighting Design. Exitronics, a division of Barron Lighting Group, is excited to introduce Guardian G3, the next evolution of software for the life safety equipment industry. Yesterday, the Dow was up 37 points, NASDAQ increased 75 points, and Acuity lost a dollar two. That's it. Go light up the world. Have a great day. Pray for peace.